Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Mario Odos. I'm your host. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to turn your 2D logo into a 3D animation. Now, that being said, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you have your post notifications on so you can be notified when I post. It is my first video, but I'll be posting more about cinematography, producing, and editing. Now, if you have any suggestions for future videos, go ahead and leave them on the comment section below. Now, that being said, let's get to the video. All right, guys, so let's start by opening our Photoshop project. Create new. And make sure that it's 1920 by 1080. All right, 300 resolution. And create. All righty, let's go ahead and turn off our background right there really quick. Now, for teaching purposes, I'm only going to do a circle. doesn't really matter the color, but make, let's make sure that it does have a color because when we put it back into Illustrator, um, we will need a, a color for reference. I'm going to go ahead and put an M for Mario. Once again, this is for teaching purposes, but you can do anything you like. This You can do this with uh, if you already have a logo or if you want to design a logo in Photoshop and then you want to make it a 3D. Um, you can use this method as well. So, okay, let's go ahead and rasterize the M, move it to the center, and let's go ahead and file, save as, or save as quick PNG. So, let's do a quick PNG export. Let's go ahead and close that and open Illustrator now. And this is very easy, guys. So, let's go ahead and create a new file, go ahead and name it. I'm just going to name it. M logo vector because we are creating the vector. Make sure it's 1920 by 1080 again, guys. Let's make it a 300 ppi and create. And name it okay. Now we open up our project. Let's go ahead and show the transparency grid and uh, go to my finder and drop the logo. Okay, now let's go ahead and center that. And let's go ahead and go to image trace. Now, if you don't see that, go to your windows and then you'll see image trace right here. Tracing results. That's fine. Let's go ahead and put color. My logo has only one color, so I'll go all the way down to two, then click trace. Okay, let's give it a second. And there you go. Close that. Click expand. And let's go ahead and get our tool. Click on the white background and then hit delete. And that's what that's just gonna get rid of the, the whole white background. And it's gonna leave us just with our PNG. Save as, and then we're gonna save it as a Illustrator uh, file. So just go ahead and save it, click save, and then name it. I like to put mine. And the, the title plus AI, so I know it's an Illustrator file. Leave all your options as they are, and then let's click OK. Alright, alrighty now let's go ahead and open our After Effects project, new composition, and let's name it. Once again, I'm going to put M logo and then 3D because we are going to work on getting it as a 3D project now. Go ahead and go with the 1080, 24 frames per second, that's fine. And let's go ahead and drop our logo, make sure it's the one that it says AI. Drop it into the composition and right click. Then we're going to go ahead and go to create and then create shapes from vector layer. So let's go ahead and click that. And then we see that we have our outline now, the outline, ve the, the vector outline. Now let's go ahead and turn on, make it as a, make it a 3D layer. And um, yeah, now let, let make sure that you do have it on Cinema 4D. Um, that way you get your, all your options, uh, the geometry options and your material options. If you don't have that, then it won't give you all those options right there. So again, it's gonna be on the top right. Classic, if it's on classic 3D, go ahead and change it to Cinema 4D. I believe the old After Effects is like uh, 3D ray trace or something like that. Okay, now let's go ahead and add a light. So go to layer and light. I'm gonna go ahead and do a point and then let's just start with uh, 
intensity 20 let's just go ahead and press okay right now it's dark but it's fine we're gonna adjust from there so no big deal Alrighty, so hold on give me a second let me just add a second camera here so i know where my lights are and my 3d layers okay so go ahead and i'm just gonna adjust this to 50. i'm gonna move my light back as you can see right now it's behind my logo that's why you couldn't really see it now moving it to the front you can see it a little bit more and i'm gonna add a little bit more intensity right there 70. Uh, it's all right and then again guys this is not a uh, something exactly you have to do you can play around with the settings this is just how i'm liking it so far okay now let's go to materials i like it to be very shiny so i'm gonna go ahead and put it to 50 and the reflection intensity let's go ahead and put 40 on that mm, nah, too much let's go 20. all righty so now, so you can see a little bit more of the 3D effect here, just um, so you can see. I'm going to go to my Y axis, and I'm going to rotate that a little bit, just so you can see it. Um, now, go to uh, Geometry Options, and uh, I'm going to just slide a little bit on the extrusion depth. And you can see right there that it gets a little bit longer. And you can already see that it's a 3D image there, but let me uh, add a little bit more light so you can see it. So, as I add more light, you can see uh, really, really that is a 3D image now at this point. Let's just go ahead and put 300 for now. And um, at this point, you can just animate your liking as well. So, let me just add a keyframe right here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do a super simple uh, animation here. Like I said, you can mess with your settings however you like. You can make a rotate, flip, come in from the front, zoom in, zoom out, whatever you guys like. Okay, whenever you're ready, just go ahead and uh, export it. Add to render queue, output two, go ahead and name it M logo 3D alpha. Alrighty, now go ahead and quick time, that's fine. Go ahead and format options, make sure that it's an animation channels make sure it's rgb alpha this is very important guys because uh when you uh export it this way it's gonna be uh basically like a png almost so you're gonna be able to add a background at the end um and this is very important because um if you don't do it this way it's gonna export it as a video and uh you won't be able to add any uh background so let me show you right here let me just put an image let's see yeah sure this one and i'm gonna go ahead and add it and as you can see you can see the background behind and you can add obviously video or anything you like so that's why it's very important that you uh export it as an alpha i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys have any questions go ahead and put them in the comment section down below if you have any things you want to learn about go ahead and add it as well um but yeah, next I'll be showing you guys about producing. I'll be also doing some tracking as well um, and a little bit of a uh, lighting. Um, all right. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in a couple days. Thank you. Bye bye.